compression down the back, noticing if there's any muscles that feel a little extra tense. So I'll usually just use my palms right down the erectors to start. But while I'm doing that, I can also use the rest of my hand to kind of feel as I go. So working, I'll work the shoulders usually. So once I've worked both sides for a little while, then I'll start kind of pushing out on the shoulder and you know, everybody gives a very different chair massage. So it helps to, to kind of just feel what might be tense, kind of get in there. One thing that works really nice on the chair is this downward pressure with the, you know, with the elbow down, just kind of roll. So I'll work the top of the shoulder with the forearm and the elbow quite a bit on each side. And you can also one take the arm and pull it behind. It causes the scapula to kind of pop out there. You can get really kind of deep into that edge of that scapula. And get carried away just working around that scapula and just feeling that kind of start to soften and loosen just a little bit. And you'll you'll find that you'll kind of be drawn to certain spots as you work, but it's always important to make sure to work both sides. Sometimes you'll spend a little more side more time on one side than the other, and um, that's normal. You want to get into your stances and focus on how you, how, what you're feeling and how your body um, is reacting. And if anything starts to feel like there's tension or pain in your shoulders or neck while you're working, you can take a deep breath and just ground and focus. And, and I'm not trying to force the muscles to relax because, you know, just allowing them to. let go. Um, I always work the arms when I do chair massage and um, you can, you know, you can put the arm down like this. I, you probably can't see that. Let me do it on the other side. Put the arm down like this, work down the arm. And then also this compress into the, the lean in the arm against the armrest. And you can do hands as well, really nicely here. Is that pressure okay? Mm -hmm. Really kind of sink in. If I'm switching to, from one side to another, um, I always will do something bilaterally between. So just, you know, it's from the neck a little bit. And um, someone mentions the lower back, then I'll definitely spend a little more time on there. Um, but it can go all the way down to just above the, um, yeah, the iliac crest and go out. Right above the iliac crest. And I'll often just do this um, bilateral compression down the erectors as kind of a transition a transition stroke. So this is just kind of a quick demo. A lot of compression and just holding and, um, and acupressure points. You can access a lot of good acupressure points with, um, from this position. And um, yeah, and so, but once at the end of the chair massage, it's sometimes um, nice just because the person will be really relaxed and just they're 
zoned out and and um, if they need to get back to work or get back to the day, um, I'll incorporate some deportment into there. So that's kind of just a little bit. We'll um, kind of wake up body a little bit. We have all the different types of deportment. There's the this is the one I use the most. But we got the one. use this the most sometimes like that's a good way to kind of wake them up a little bit just a, a minute or a minute or less moment you can also um, ask them to sit up so if you can sit up um, just a little bit just for the last couple of minutes and then when they're sitting up you can put your hand on their forehead and work their neck 